name is Eric Gorder, and I am a full-time instructor at Joliet Junior College. This is the start of my second year here at school, and I teach in the arts department. I teach ceramics and three-dimensional design. So you may ask, what is what? And ceramics is the uh, process of working with clay, and we do a variety of different methods, both in hand building, with just using your hands as your primary building tools and then also using the wheel and so we make functional work we make sculptural work and I try and have people make more sculptural work than functional work but they don't always do it because everybody likes the wheel and so within that area there's the ceramics one class and there's a ceramics two we have independent study we have a brand new wood kiln that we just built and everybody's getting excited to actually start making new and exciting work and in 3D design um, it's about the primary building foundation of three-dimensional objects. So we learn about form, we learn about volume and shape and how all of these things interrelate with line and making us more aware of ourselves and our environment. And you're going to be having some pieces shown in the faculty art show? I am. How many? I'm having a couple. I think maybe three. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. But I know there's going to be two. And they're installation type pieces. So they're actually sculptural. They're based on the figure. And they're also thematically related. And so what I mean by that is one installation is entitled Searching for Water. And another one is entitled Trinity. And so with those two um, different sculptural objects, they're there's multiple pieces that are involved, and so there's well over a hundred pieces that are incorporated to make just those two, um, two installations. And I guess in some ways you could call them concept-based also because they're more on um, feelings and emotions. And so you think of that idea in the title being searching for water. Um, water is being used as a metaphor for what the body needs. And so in searching for water, you might be searching for love. Um, you might be searching for wealth or happiness. And so it's based more on that an idea or a principle and water being that one life-sustaining element that you all need. Hi, my name is Elise Kendrat, and I am an adjunct instructor here at JJC. I teach art appreciation, otherwise known as Art 109, and metalsmithing, which is uh, a studio class, and that is involving working with small metals to make jewelry and small sculpture. Um, How long have you been here? I've been here, this is my second year. So I just started last year, uh, my first time teaching at higher education. Mm -hmm. And it's been a really good experience. Um, it's been very intense. And I have been enjoying teaching art appreciation and then coming into the studio program this year and I'm having a blast, but metalsmithing is my area of expertise along with sculpture, so I feel like very in my element. You have some work that will be displayed in the faculty show? Yes, I do. I have three pieces that are up there, and they're a good indicator of the type of work I'm currently making. Uh, they're a combination of mixed media, ceramics, bound objects, and metalsmithing techniques, mm -hmm. and they are all involving around the theme of hands, and they're from a series called The Things We Hold, and what they are are talismans in a way for the things that are worrying me about our planet, about our current environmental situation. So the pieces are all related to the things that we hold in our hands as humans in terms of current survival of a certain species or a certain environment in the ecosystem. Are you looking forward to having your work displayed? I am. It, it's good to have my students and other people who are curious about my work to actually see the, the real pieces rather than just looking at images or my website. Mm -hmm. so I